Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm so excited because, well, see, I love anything red velvet, and Valentine's Day is around the corner, and if you're anything like me, you'll be staying in your cozy, nice house because it is too cold out, and I don't want to deal with crowds and all that fun stuff, which is not that fun for me. Uh, so we'll be staying in, we'll be making breakfast in bed, and uh, making a really lovely dinner, Joe and I. But for breakfast, I figured I wanted to share with you a great option, and I'm gonna share my red velvet pancakes with a lovely cream cheese drizzle. They are so good. Think red velvet cupcakes, but in a pancake form. They're incredibly easy to do. You'll require just a few ingredients, and it really is, um, it just feels special. It just feels like you've gone the extra length to do something really, really special for the occasion. And the ingredients you'll need are basic ones, starting with some all-purpose flour, baking powder, Powder, cocoa powder, salt and sugar, buttermilk, egg, you'll need some melted unsalted butter, vanilla extract, and some red food coloring. And I'll share with you the ingredients for the cream cheese drizzle in just a little bit. But for now, we are going to get started on the actual batter. Really easy. So, so easy. I'm going to mix together my dry ingredients. You can double up the recipe to feed a family of four uh, four to six. This is going to make enough for the two of us, plus with some leftovers. And here is a really fun thing. I don't know if I've ever shared it with you before, but I love storing leftover pancakes in my freezer. Like I freeze them and then I just warm them up in my toaster oven. Pop, pop. In my toaster. It's not a toaster oven. See, I try to be cool and then I just I just destroyed myself. In a toaster. I like reheating them in a toaster. So and now I'm just going to take my buttermilk, which is really nice and thick, my egg, butter. And then just a splash of vanilla, and I'm gonna give these just a little mix before I add them to my dry ingredients. Can I get this vanilla open? Yes, I can. A nice little drizzle of vanilla. And then just give this a nice whisk to combine. Add the wet into your dry. And now all you're gonna do is mix this together to combine. And once you have your batter pretty much together, we're gonna start adding some of the red food coloring. But I wanna get this mixed up really well first. Okay, you can see that there's a few lumps in there, but this is the thing. A few lumps in a pancake batter is not a bad thing. You don't wanna over mix this because otherwise your pancakes won't be really fluffy and delicious. And now I'm gonna add in a little bit of food coloring. These are red velvet after all. If you don't wanna bother with a red food coloring, you don't have to, they will taste exactly the same. But again, we're going for that red velvet vibe. So I'm gonna, red velvet vibe, that's really cool. I'm gonna add some red, some red food coloring to my red velvet pancakes. It's like my excitement is taking over here. And then I just start with a little bit and get that mixed in. And then you just keep adding until you get the intense color that you desire. Okay, this looks great. Now I've got my griddle here preheating. Now I have a nonstick griddle pan. So that means I don't have to grease my griddle pan to make my pancakes. And truth be told, sometimes I like cooking my pancakes in a little bit of butter, but most of the time I like cooking them on just my nonstick griddle uh, because they come out perfect and fluffy, not, um, they don't over, they, they don't, they're not overly brown. So I prefer cooking them on this. If you don't have a nonstick one, you must grease your skillet or your pan because the batter will stick to whatever you're cooking it on. I'm preheating this over about medium heat. I'm gonna let my batter sit for about five minutes while this is preheating and then we'll cook up our pancakes. My pan is ready, my batter has rested and now I'm just gonna put little dollops and just let them cook for a couple of minutes on each side. You know what pancakes look like when they're ready to be flipped. They'll start to form bubbles kind of all around the top and then you just flip them, let them cook for a couple more minutes and you're done. Keep an eye on them and I'll show you what they look like once we're all done and then once they cool a bit, we can start making, can I make more of a mess by the way? We can start making our glaze. All my pancakes are done. Now, like I said, you can add more red food coloring to get them really, really red or you know, you can even do green for like St. Patrick's Day. You can do whatever you want. Think about this, as far as food coloring goes, we don't do yellow, do yellow. It's completely up to you. This is the right color for me. The world is my pickle. This is how I'm digging it today. Now we're gonna work on the glaze. Now, I really like a glaze um, meets frosting, I suppose. It is delicious. You can serve these with maple syrup and it would be fabulous, but 
why not go all the way? I've got a little bit of cream cheese in my bowl. Really important that your cream cheese is at room temperature. And as you can see, I'm kind of just mix it around, mixing it around to make sure it's really soft. I don't want this to be hard because then it won't incorporate everything well. I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of vanilla. More than a teeny tiny bit, but hey, I like vanilla, so I am okay with a little extra drop. And then, of course, we need some confectioner sugar because this needs to be sweetened. And what I do is I kind of just work with my spatula and just work to mix in my confectioner sugar. And then I start adding a little bit of milk at a time once my sugar is incorporated. And then just mix it until I get the desired consistency that I'm looking for. Some people want this to be like a frosting. Some people want it to be really thin like a syrup. But you do and add as much or as little as you want. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm going to keep on mixing until I've got the right consistency. This is perfect for me. As you can see, I've got a little plate ready for myself. Priorities, of course, I need some ready. And now I'm just going to add a little drizzle of this gorgeousness. And you can make it thinner if you want to, but I like it quite on the thick side because I really am treating this almost like a frosting. I know, I'm so bad. I mean, who does that for breakfast? I do! <laughs> Not embarrassed either because you know what? It's a treat and once in a while you have to treat yourself otherwise you go nuts. That's what my mother says and as a rule I have been following my whole life clearly. Look at that. They are just so perfectly cooked. <laughs> mm. That is so good. You know? You could make regular pancakes, and that's perfectly acceptable, but when something as special as red velvet pancakes are so easy, why not go through the extra step and make something really special for your romantic breakfast? LauraInTheKitchen.com has the recipe waiting for you. If you make these, please make sure you send a, social a picture on social media so that I can see your recreation. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!